It's been seven long years since PlayStation 4 came into the market, and let's be honest here, you bought PlayStation because you want to try those exclusive games. Am I right? I am. I am right. But now there's a new girl in town, and her name is PlayStation 5. She has some really cool gifts, really cool features, really big things, and you're attracted towards her. But the real question is, what are we going to do about the other girl? Shall we just let her go? Sadly, the answer is yes, but not right now because the new girl has some availability issues. So today we will talk about why PlayStation 4 might be getting discontinued very soon because of PlayStation 5. Firstly, we have seen that PlayStation 4 communities are being shut down in April. This community feature is just like any other forum or thread where you talk about the games, you send screenshots, you discuss about these games. It's just like a forum and it's a community that is built only for PlayStation players. It is like Reddit but not Reddit. I think this is the first step of PlayStation 4 getting discontinued and to be honest, I mean, it's a, it's a community for PlayStation 4 players only and I use Reddit and other uh, places where I can, you know, talk about the same games in PlayStation 4 whereas people who only have PlayStation 4, well, they have to use those communities. I mean, in one way, you can say that this is the beginning of the end of PlayStation 4. Well, in Japan, we have seen that the production of PlayStation 4 has actually been stopped completely. All but one model, that is PlayStation 4 Slim 500GB, is being produced as per Game Watch. This might even help Sony with PS5 production that is definitely not in stock. I don't understand why you guys made a new console, but we cannot buy it because it's not in stock? What's going on, Sony? Now, if this news from Japan is true that they're ending the production for PlayStation 4, all but PlayStation 4 Slim, then it could be very much possible that the production for the entirety of PlayStation 4 all over the world might be coming to a close very, very soon. Well, we might not have a real proof on whether or when PlayStation 4 is ending, but we can take a look at how long a PlayStation console lives. PlayStation 1 was released back in 1995 and stayed for 11 years. PlayStation 2 was released in 2000 and stayed for 13 years and was discontinued in 2013. PlayStation 3 came out in 2005 and stayed until 2016, almost 11 years. So if you take a look at PlayStation 4 which was released back in 2013 and looking at how other PlayStations have gone through, PlayStation 4 should be good to go for another 2-3 to three years. Although in Japan, apparently PlayStation 4 has stopped the production already, which is weird because usually that's the last country. When the production stopped for PlayStation 3, Japan was the last country to stop its production and that happened in 2017. However, the rest of the world started in like 2016. So this makes me curious, is Sony trying to end PlayStation 4 early? Because, I mean, I, I don't know why they want to end it early because I don't see PlayStation 5 being in stock so soon, but it would be weird if they do that. Well, maybe PS4 doesn't have a lot of time, but it sure does have a lot of games. That's what I think. Of course, with the release of PlayStation 5, Sony wants to utilize what PlayStation 5 has, but that doesn't mean that they won't release it on PlayStation 4. Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales came out in PlayStation 4 as well. We also see that Resident Evil Village is coming out on PS4 this year. We also have games like Horizon Forbidden West and Stray that are coming to PS4, which are exclusive. Other games must be coming out to PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and also on PC as like you know, multi-platform uh, release which will happen I believe at least for the next two years. Although I do admit that PlayStation 4 might not get any exclusives, maybe one or two exclusives because of course they, they want to utilize PlayStation 5 and its hardware. Of course it's a new girl in town, you have to put some steam on it. Ooh, I don't know why I'm turned on right now. I think I'm imagining way too hard on these girls. Well, in the end, it seems like PlayStation 4 is coming to an end. However, it's not that very quick. I don't think so. In 2021, PlayStation 4 will be over. I believe that it will still take a little bit of more time before PlayStation 4 is completely gone like from existence. There's no production anymore. And once that is done, of course, there will be no nothing about PlayStation 4. But I believe at least by 2023, PlayStation 4 is still hanging around. But if you're looking forward to buy a PlayStation 4, I think right now is the best time to buy PlayStation 4. And the reason why is because there's so many exclusive games that came to PlayStation 4 in 2020 itself. And there's so many more that we have not played before that. So there's a lot of games that you can explore. And I would definitely say there are none of those games coming to PlayStation 5 right now. Of course, there's backwards compatibility, but still, PlayStation 4, I believe, is still is a great deal because PlayStation 5 is not available yet. If PlayStation 5 is available, then I, I believe that you can go with that. But if not, I think PlayStation 4 is the best bet. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. What do you think about PlayStation 4 getting discontinued very early or maybe very soon? Let me know in that comments section below. And also, do not forget to subscribe because more such content is definitely coming very soon. Much more. I promise you that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome. Keep playing games.